in physics there is a concept called vectors now a vector is something that has a quantity in other words it has a size or a value but it also has direction direction is very important when working with vectors for instance let's say you are standing on the ground and you jump up one meter into the air then obviously you're going to come down again one meter and you end up exactly where you started now to do the math in physics with displacement because your displacement is zero you didn't go anywhere you ended up exactly where you started we then introduce the concept of up for instance as a positive and down as a negative so you've gone up by one meter and you've come down by one meter so your displacement is zero so plus one minus one is equal to zero your displacement in terms of direction is equal to zero now we're going to use this exact same example of a positive and a negative indicating direction to illustrate a minus times by minus being a positive so say for instance there's our number line and we have zero there then we say this is a positive direction this is the negative direction now if you have for instance a times b plus a times by plus b we can say the A is the number of steps or the number of places that you gain on your number line and the plus B or the B itself is the size of the steps that you take so for instance if we have 2, 4, 6, 8 on the number line and we say we have 3 times by 2 we can say the 3 is positive because we are going in that direction and the 2 will be positive because it is the size of the step so we've got three steps 1 2 3 and we end up at plus 6 which makes sense everybody should be happy with that now if for instance we have minus 3 times by plus 2 it means we are facing in the negative direction so we are walking three times the steps two sizes each into the negative direction which will give us minus 6 so we'll end up at minus 6 because we have faced that minus there indicates the f direction in which we faced however if we now look at the following and this requires a little bit of abstract thinking on your part to understand how this all fits together but let's say we've got this number line there's 0 that's the negative direction and the positive direction and we have minus 3 times by minus 2 now we are facing in that direction however we are taking negative size steps so we are not going in that direction we are walking backwards if you like so you're facing in one direction but you are reversing your steps so you are going three uh, steps each of size two but in the opposite direction as the one that you faced and the reason why you're walking backwards is because it was indicated as minus steps and then obviously you end up back again at plus six if you walk backwards so you are facing in the negative direction but you are reversing your steps and then you'll end up at a plus six as well so hopefully that makes sense as to why minus times a minus is a positive